Hey guys, it's Zach with Cascade Refining. I've got a new video for you to kind of show you how to test silver at home. Um, it works best on heavy pieces of silver, uh, like maybe rings, uh, flatware, coins, and all you need is a really strong magnet. Uh, we use uh, hard drive magnets out of computers. Uh, they're neodymium magnets. Uh, rare earth magnets is also what they're called. Uh, so just pick up a old hard drive that's broken maybe laying around, uh, pop that open and there's usually two of these magnets inside there and it'll help you at least kind of get an idea of what might be silver. Um, it's not a surefire way to tell you exactly what is silver but, but it will help you kind of weed out uh, some of the things so let's get started. So we've got our magnet here and a few pieces of flatware so let's take a look at uh, what is actually marked on this spoon here. So on the back side it says some letters, like look like kind of like hallmarks, um, and then 920 and 240. And on the end here it says EPNSA1. That stands for electroplated nickel silver. Now on this other fork here, we'll look on the back and see that it says international sterling now anytime you see the word sterling that's a good sign that's what you want to look for is the word sterling on any piece of flatware and then on this other gold fork um, it says Americana Golden Heritage IS now IS you might mistake for international sterling but it, it in fact is international silver which generally will just mean it's plated so before we really get into the testing part. Um, I just wanted to kind of go over why the magnet works. Um, you're familiar with things being magnetic uh, as ferromagnet magnetic. Uh, ferromagnetic materials are like iron, cobalt, and nickel. So any alloys that are primarily those metals uh, will generally be ferromagnetic. Um, like putting your magnet on the fridge, that's what you're really used to in terms of magnetism. But silver um, has kind of an odd property. It's called paramagnetism. So what happens is instead of a magnet snapping to the material, it just has a light pull as it go, um, goes across the side of it. Um, so you'll see here um, we'll be using a magnet to move the silver around and we're not actually touching it but it, the silver will not snap to a magnet. So let's take a look. So I've chosen this uh, piece dollar here to show you what to look for when using a magnet to test. I use the piece dollar because everyone knows that it is silver. So I'll put the magnet over the top without touching it and slide back to forth and you'll see that the coin moves side to side as you move the magnet. Now it's not snapping up to the magnet but it is moving side to side. So that's what you want to look for in a silver magnet test. Now with this gold fork you'll see it snaps to the magnet like that. Um, that's because it is ferromagnetic just like uh, you're used to with like a fridge magnet and things like that. So when we do it on this uh, other spoon here you'll see it just stays still just like you're not even doing anything and that's because it's not paramagnetic or ferromagnetic it's actually silver plated nickel silver which some people will call white brass it's a silver colored metal made of nickel and copper so on this fork, we'll move side to side, and just like the coin, it moves with the direction of the magnet. Now it doesn't pull up like we saw with the gold fork, but it does move side to side just like the coin. And this one's also marked sterling, so this, this is an example of a solid silver piece that is um, testing positive for silver using the magnet test. Thanks for watching our tutorial on how to test silver at home with a magnet. Um, if you'd like to see any other videos like this, please comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see.